Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 1. So a little bit of quick housekeeping. If this is the first Command 66 Day Challenge video you are watching, my recommendation would be, if you are not familiar with Command at all, to go ahead and start off with the original challenge, kind of 1.0 is how we'll be referring to it uh, moving forward. So I'll put a link to the original challenge uh, in the comments and also here in the video. Um, I would highly recommend you start there and go through those videos. There are a few that will be outdated and I'm doing my best to either update or remove those videos as things continue to improve and get upgraded within command. And yet the majority of those videos are gonna allow the foundation to uh, kind of be laid for those agents that are continuing on in 2.0. Uh, the majority of the challenges that we'll do here in this second challenge will be on the improvements and uh, the changes and continued upgrades to the uh, kind of apps and applets within command as they continue to be released. Uh, so again, if this is your first challenge video, I'd recommend starting back over at 1.0, kind of work your way through those and then jump in. For those of you that have gone through the first challenge, welcome back, happy to have you. And uh, you guys kind of know the drill. We'll do short uh, three to five minute videos outlining the newest um, items that have happened within command. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, today we're gonna talk about contacts. So contacts has gone through a little bit of a uh, makeover for probably the second or third time. Originally, we used to be able to see both our contacts and our leads in a section kind of up in this area. And we could toggle back and forth um, originally that was causing a lot of kind of confusion. What's the difference between a contact and a lead? Why are some coming in as contacts? Some are coming in as leads. And so now we have gone back through, the labs team has gone through and just put everybody back into one bucket. So everybody is back into contacts. However, you will see if you have any contacts in your database that are leads, that's a little um, confusing. If you have any leads in your database, excuse me, they'll be marked as an L. And you can see when I hover over this, this is a lead. So how do I add a new lead to my database? I'm gonna start off by clicking on add contact. I'll come in and put in the information and make sure I put in their email address. And for lack of time, I won't go through all of this, but obviously we would go through and fill out all of the information. And here is the box that we're gonna to check to make sure that it registers as a lead. So mark as lead. If they're already a lead that's going to jump immediately into my sales pipeline, I can do that as well. Click on add to sales pipeline. <clears throat> Excuse me, that'll get them started there. But right now we're just gonna mark them as a lead. We would go through and fill out all of this information. Once done, I would go ahead and click on create. And from there, you can now see quadruple A seller is in my database as a lead, marked as a lead. Uh, the next question I've had is, okay, so I have some contacts in my database already. They imported in or they were from previous um, kind of data entry in the past, and now I want to mark them as a lead. So when you see that contact that you want to change to a lead, you can just click on the ellipses or three dots here at the far right-hand side of the screen and then go down to mark as lead. Are you sure you want to mark as a lead? And you'd say yes. And then again, AAA seller is now a lead. I can also go back in and unmark as lead and that would remove AAA seller as a lead. So I can now see leads versus non-leads there. If you have a group or a set of bulk contacts, say we did a filter and I chose a certain filter that was in here, maybe anybody that um, I have designated as my boiler room or all my uh, productivity coaching clients, so I could put that in there. Um, but whatever I filter on, basically I could have a list and then I could select all of these. Um, the select all button is not working right now, just so you guys know. So if you're having any challenges here, it's a known issue that's being fixed. And so that should be, once I click this, generally speaking, all of these will be checked. And so hopefully that's coming back here soon. But let's just say I wanted to mark all five of these people as leads. I could check all of their boxes, come in and then select bulk action, mark as leads. Are you sure all five of these? Yes. Let's click on move. And then you see all of them show up as leads. I could do the same. I could basically come in, click all five of them. And it uh, looks like there's not a remove as leads bulk action. So just be careful when you're putting them in. And yet I could come in, Aaron Porter is not a lead. So I'm going to unmark him. And Aaron Young is not a lead. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmark Aaron as a lead as well. And these three test accounts, it doesn't matter what I do with those AA, AAA, single A sellers. 
So that's it. Basically, the way that you go in and add a lead to your database, the way that you change a contact to a lead within your database, and the way that you can bulk change contacts to leads. Again, just a reminder, you cannot bulk unmark as lead right now, it looks like. So uh, just be careful when you're doing that. All right, guys, that's day one of the Command 66J Challenge 2.0. I hope you're all having a fantastic Monday or looking forward to an amazing week. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.